Thank you. All right, so we were talking to James, and he's telling us a little bit about the two of you working together. We had so much fun. Yeah, can you talk a little bit about working with him? You know, he's an OG. He's a legend. So when legends speak and you're in the room with them, I get really quiet, and I listen, and I pay attention, and I learn. And um, not to sound cliche, but we really you know, are like a family outside of the show. So I believe that's what helps it to translate on the film. So he's like a uncle to me, like in real life. So it's cool just to get in front of that camera and play. And, you know, now that we're in season two, we all know each other really well at this point. We know our characters and we just have fun and go for it. That's dope. Now, the fact that you are into the superhero realm, yep. but also in this new era where representation is happening heavy. Heavy. How does that, how does that feel, that sense of pride? How does that feel? It's, it's overwhelming sometimes. I, I met with, um, you know, we're at these comic cons. And a, a young woman came up to me. She was a teenager, a lesbian, and she said after seeing Thunder, she felt normal. So to me, that was the greatest reward. And it was really overwhelming. I'm crying, she's crying. And to know that we're being used, you know, to show people what they look like. You know, representation is very important, and we all want to see ourselves on TV. So I think that's what's most rewarding for me, knowing that when people tune in, uh, they see themselves. What um, challenges can you kind of tease that are going to go like that, and this is going to have this season so far? I know you guys have done maybe three episodes, but like, what are going to be some of her biggest challenges? And also, how will she help Jennifer kind of usher in herself? Well, she's definitely still trying to help Jennifer to understand to embrace her powers and that they're, this is a God-given gift and you got to use it to save people who can't save themselves. So they're still kind of butting heads on that and still trying to convince her that this is what she has to, to do. Um, challenges, I think maybe juggling maybe a love life and, and trying to um, be really, really focused but understanding that there's a balance between her love life and you know her career and, and her her. Her, her work as a superhero in the community. Yeah, so that balance. She's so focused on work and so focused that, you know, her family has to sometimes remind her, like, you still need to live. So hopefully a little bit of her love life we'll see. Yeah, yeah we didn't focus grace. on that. Yeah, oh, look at you're ready, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you're ready. You answered before I could tell you, so. Yeah, I think her love life is, is something that I would like to see a, a bit more of and to see her explore that. Um, not easy dating people when you're a superhero. You can't tell everybody you're a superhero. You gotta right. trust them and trust the process. <laughs> that can get weird. So, um... Yeah. Because, like, we've seen Anissa in, like, different low relationships where they haven't lasted. They haven't lasted because people don't understand her and understand, um, you know, just how focused she is when it comes to that. Like, season one, it was just really all about her powers and understanding how to develop them and, and grow as a superhero that love was on the, the last thing on the list. Okay. She jumps right in as soon as she gets her power. She's she ready gets to go. Right. She's hyped. She's excited. Would you be the same way? You Hell got those yeah. powers. You'd be out there. Yeah. Well, would you go buy that original costume? No, the question. The original. I think the second one is better. <laughs> <laughs> the second one is more practical. Um, but yeah, she just jumped right in. And I think that's where the... the, the the struggle and the conflict comes in with her and Jennifer is just like, wait a minute, like, how are you not going to jump right in? Like, this is what we're supposed to be doing. And for her to have a, uh, you know, different thoughts and feelings about being a superhero, it's just like, how can you not want to come hit the streets with me? She doesn't understand. So hopefully we'll see that. That's what I think I'm most excited for is to see all three of us team up. Hopefully we'll see that this season. So to have, like, Anissa, who's, like, really gung-ho working with Gambi, who's, like, also really gung-ho about getting superheroes out there, uh, do we have any, like, cool new gadgets yet? And if you can't talk about those yet, is there a gadget you want Anissa to have? I want to talk to y'all. <laughs> there is something really cool and new, um... Mm. You got your bike. It's a motorcycle. Or I can't give it up. Y'all gotta see. Y'all gotta see it. It's something really cool. And like her a dad. Cool room. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. All right. Thank okay. you guys so much. I'll give you that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.